You guys, you made it. It's a good day. We're gathered here today to celebrate one of the happiest moments in the lives of Jordan Stovall and Haley Weathers. Because today, Jordan and Haley affirm before witnesses of heaven and earth that they believe God has purposed them to share in the holy bonds of Christian marriage. Apart from your relationship with Jesus Christ, this is the most important decision you'll ever make. So let me ask you now, Jordan, do you take Haley to be your wife? I do. Haley, do you take Jordan to be your husband? I do. We'd like to take a moment to thank you all for sharing this special day. Um, Haley, we are so excited for you today. At this point, at the point you were conceived, you brought joy and love to your mom and my heart. Today, we're giving away our Haley to a wonderful man. Now we can look forward to them raising their family and with the same love and joy we did with our family and bring us more memories in the future. So please stand with me and join me in a toast to Haley and Jordan. May you have many years of light, love, and laughter as you begin your adventure together. May the road be smooth and full of happy memories. And may God bless this marriage and help you achieve the goals you have set for yourself. I recently had the privilege of meeting with a couple in preparation for the ceremony. And I loved getting to hear how God wove your stories together so that you two could become one. For those that don't know, Jordan and Haley met while they were working. They were fast friends and their connection was clear, but that's all they were until one fateful week they both became single at the same time. Jordan was the first to figure out that he had interest in Haley, but of course he was the first one to figure it out. Look at him and look at her. <laughs> and I suspect that when they were each praying for their future spouse that they would have never had the audacity to hope for such a great match. But God is good like that. He delights in giving good and perfect gifts to his children. And I believe that's what you two are to each other. Every time you look at one another, it's right and good to be assured that God loves you, that he is committed to you, that he is committed to seeing this union through many, many seasons. In fact, you are each living, breathing, laughing, crying reminders of God's love to one another. I choose to spend the rest of my life with you. Uh, from coworkers to friends to classmates to romantic partners, I feel truly blessed to have, have you by my side through it all. Jordan, the past three years have led us through many wonderful memories, as well as some really difficult lessons. But all of these lessons learned and memories made led us to this, and I'm confident that with you is where my home is. Uh, marriage isn't about self-fulfillment, it's about sacrifice and, and service. And with this ring, I give myself to you completely. Uh, I vow to always put your needs above my own. I promise to not just be your husband, but also your best friend and biggest supporter. I promise to be faithful to you and to love you unconditionally. I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, celebrate with you, and mourn with you. I promise to love you as you truly are and through whatever life our way. And above all, I promise to be yours until the day that we die. I vow to continue to love you deeply. I vow to provide you with comfort when you are sad and patience when you are in need. I vow to forgive you when you are not perfect 
and honor and trust you in the decisions that you make. I vow to preserve and protect our marriage by continuing to put in effort even when it doesn't feel like this. I vow to encourage you as you grow and grow with you as you lead. I'm so thankful for you and our love, and I will continue to pick, a, pick you every day as we spend our forevers together. Jordan and Haley, we've heard your covenant to share your lives in marriage. So on behalf of those present here today, on the side of our Lord, according to the standards of the church and the laws of the great state of Tennessee, because of your taking vows and exchanging rings, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jordan, you may kiss your bride. What God has joined together, let no man separate. It is my great joy and honor to present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Jordan Stovall. I really, you know, from my the bottom of my heart, I congratulate you too. I'm so happy for you too. Uh, I look forward to continuing to look up to you guys as a role model and just like, just a beautiful couple. Both of you are so goofy, uh, patient, loving, caring, um, all the qualities that I would ever want in a relationship of my own. And uh, I just wish both of you that this is a lifetime of happiness. You are the big winner today. Uh, you've won the grand prize here. I'm so happy for you guys. Can't wait to see the life you live. And um, I'm glad to be a part of it. And we're going to be supporting and loving behind you all the way. So with that, please raise your glass to Jordan and Haley. We love you guys.